Sukkot Hebrew, Swau or Sukkot, Sukkot, commonly translated as Feast of Tabernacles, traditional Ashkenazi pronunciation Sukkos or Sukkos, also known as Chag Hasif, High Sip the Feast of Ingathering, is a biblical Jewish holiday celebrated on the 15th day of the seventh month. Tishrei varies from late September to late October. During the existence of the Jerusalem Temple, it was one of the three pilgrimage festivals Hebrew, Slos or Glim Shalish Regalim on which the Israelites were commanded to perform a pilgrimage to the Temple. The names used in the Torah are Chag Hasif, translated to Feast of Ingathering, or Harvest Festival, and Chag Hasukot, translated to Festival of Booze. This corresponds to the double significance of Sukkot. The one mentioned in the Book of Exodus is agricultural in nature. Feast of ingathering at the year's end. Exodus chapter 34 verse 22. And marks the end of the harvest time and thus of the agricultural year in the land of Israel. The more elaborate religious significance from the Book of Leviticus is that of commemorating the Exodus and the dependence of the people of Israel on the will of God. Leviticus chapter 23 verses 42 to 43. The holiday lasts seven days in Israel and eight in the Diaspora. The first day and second day in the Diaspora is a Shabbat-like holiday when work is forbidden. This is followed by intermediate days called Chul Hamod, when certain work is permitted. The festival is closed with another Shabbat-like holiday called Shemini Eitzaret one day in Israel, two days in the Diaspora, where the second day is called Simchat Torah. Shemini Eitzaret coincides with the eighth day of Sukkot outside Israel. The Hebrew word Sukkot is the plural of sukkah, booth, or tabernacle, which is a walled structure covered with esisach plant material such as overgrowth or palm leaves. A sukkah is the name of the temporary dwelling in which farmers would live during harvesting, a fact connecting to the agricultural significance of the holiday stressed by the Book of Exodus. As stated in Leviticus, it is also intended as a reminiscence of the type of fragile dwellings in which the Israelites dwelt during their 40 years of travel in the desert after the exodus from slavery in Egypt. Throughout the holiday, meals are eaten inside the sukkah and many people sleep there as well. On each day of the holiday it is mandatory to perform a waving ceremony with the four species. Origins. In the book of Leviticus, God told Moses to command the people, On the first day you shall take the product of hadar trees, branches of palm trees, boughs of leafy trees, and willows of the brook. Lev. 2340, and, You shall live in booths seven days, all citizens in Israel shall live in booths, in order that future generations may know that I made the Israelite people live in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. Lev. 2342-43. The origins of Sukkot are both historical and agricultural. Historically, Sukkot commemorates the 40-year period during which the children of Israel were wandering in the desert, living in temporary shelters. Agriculturally, Sukkot is a harvest festival and is sometimes referred to as Chag Hasif, High Sip the Festival of Ingathering, as it celebrates the gathering of the harvest. Topic. Laws and customs Topic. Sukkot is a seven-day holiday, with the first day celebrated as a full festival with special prayer services and holiday meals. The seventh day of Sukkot is called Hashanah Rabbah, Great Hashanah, referring to the tradition that worshippers in the synagogue walk around the perimeter of the sanctuary during morning services and has a special observance of its own. Outside Israel, the first and last two days are celebrated as full festivals. The intermediate days are known as Chul Hamod, festival weekdays. According to Halakha, some types of work are forbidden during Chul Hamod. In Israel many businesses are closed during this time. Throughout the week of Sukkot, meals are eaten in the sukkah. If a Brit Millah circumcision ceremony or Bar Mitzvah rises during Sukkot, the Sudat Mitzvah obligatory festive meal is served in the sukkah. Similarly, the father of a newborn boy greets guests to his Friday night Shalom Zakar in the sukkah. Males awaken there, although the requirement is waived in case of drought. Every day, a blessing is recited over the lulav and the etrog. 
Observance of Sukkot is detailed in the Hebrew Bible, Nehemiah chapter 8 verses 13 to 18, Zechariah chapter 14 verses 16 to 19 and Leviticus chapter 23 verses 34 to 44. The Mishnah, Sukkah 1 to 1 minus 5 to 8, the Tosefta, Sukkah 1 to 1 minus 4 to 28, and the Jerusalem Talmud, Sukkah 1a and Babylonian Talmud, Sukkah 2a 56b. Topic Building a sukkah. Topic: The sukkah walls can be constructed of any material (wood, canvas, aluminum siding, sheets). The walls can be freestanding or include the sides of a building or porch. The roof must be of organic material, known as esisach, such as leafy tree overgrowth, shock mats, or palm fronds. It is customary to decorate the interior of the sukkah with hanging decorations of the four species as well as with attractive artwork. Special prayers Prayers during Sukkot include the reading of the Torah every day, reciting the Musaf additional service after morning prayers, reciting Hillel, and adding special additions to the Amida and Grace after meals. In addition, the service includes rituals involving the four species. The lulav and etrog are not brought to the synagogue on Shabbat. Topic: <laughs> On each day of the festival, worshippers walk around the synagogue carrying their four species while reciting special prayers known as hoshanit. This takes place either after the morning's Torah reading or at the end of Musaf. This ceremony commemorates the willow ceremony at the temple in Jerusalem, in which willow branches were piled beside the altar with worshippers parading around the altar reciting prayers. Ushpizin A custom originating with Lurianic Kabbalah is to recite the Ushpizin prayer to invite one of seven exalted guests into the sukkah. These Ushpizin Aramaic spizin, guests, represent the seven shepherds of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Aaron, Joseph and David. According to tradition, each night a different guest enters the sukkah followed by the other six. Each of the Ushpizin has a unique lesson which teaches the parallels of the spiritual focus of the day on which they visit. <laughs> Chul Hamod Intermediate Days Topic. The second through seventh days of Sukkot, third through seventh days outside Israel, are called Chul Hamod, Hul Hamot lit. Festival weekdays. These days are considered by Halakha to be more than regular weekdays, but less than festival days. In practice, this means that all activities that are needed for the holiday, such as buying and preparing food, cleaning the house in honor of the holiday, or traveling to visit other people's Sukkot or on family outings, are permitted by Jewish law. Activities that will interfere with relaxation and enjoyment of the holiday, such as laundering, mending clothes, engaging in labor-intensive activities, are not permitted. Religious Jews often treat Chul Hamod as a vacation period, eating nicer than usual meals in their sukkah, entertaining guests, visiting other families in their Sukkot, and taking family outings. Many synagogues and Jewish centers also offer events and meals in their Sukkot during this time to foster community and goodwill. On the Shabbat which falls during the week of Sukkot or in the event when the first day of Sukkot is on Shabbat, the Book of Ecclesiastes is read during morning synagogue services in Israel. Diaspora communities read it the second Shabbat eighth day when the first day of Sukkot is on Shabbat, this book's emphasis on the ephemeralness of life. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. Echoes the theme of the Sukkah, while its emphasis on death reflects the time of year in which Sukkot occurs the autumn of life. The penultimate verse reinforces the message that adherence to God and his Torah is the only worthwhile pursuit. Cf. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verses 13, 14. Topic: <laughs> Hakel assembly. Topic: in the days of the Temple in Jerusalem, all Israelite, and later Jewish men, women, and children on pilgrimage to Jerusalem for the festival would gather in the Temple courtyard on the first day of Chul Hamod Sukkot to hear the Jewish king read selections from the Torah. 
This ceremony, which was mandated in Deuteronomy chapter 31 verses 10 to 13, was held every 7 years in the year following the Shemitah sabbatical year. This ceremony was discontinued after the destruction of the temple, but it has been revived in Israel since 1952 on a smaller scale. Topic: <laughs> Simchat Beit Hashuva water drawing celebration. Topic: during the intermediate days of Sukkot, gatherings of music and dance, known as Simchat Beit Hashuiva celebration of the place of water drawing, take place. This commemorates the drawing of the water for the water libation on the altar, an offering unique to Sukkot, when water was carried up the Jerusalem Pilgrim Road from the Pool of Siloam to the Temple in Jerusalem. <laughs> Hashanah Rabbah Great Supplication. Topic. The seventh day of Sukkot is known as Hashanah Rabbah Great Supplication. This day is marked by a special synagogue service in which seven circuits are made by worshippers holding their four species, reciting additional prayers. In addition, a bundle of five willow branches is beaten on the ground. Topic. Shemini Eitzaret and Simchat Torah Topic. The holiday immediately following Sukkot is known as Shemini Eitzaret lit. Eighth day of assembly. Shemini Eitzaret is usually viewed as a separate holiday. In the diaspora a second additional holiday, Simchat Torah, joy of the Torah, is celebrated. In the land of Israel, Simchat Torah is celebrated on Shemini Eitzaret. On Shemini Eitzaret people leave their sukkah and eat their meals inside the house. Outside Israel, many eat in the sukkah without making the blessing. The sukkah is not used on Simchat Torah. Topic. Jeroboam's Feast Topic. According to 1 Kings chapter 12 verses 32-33, King Jeroboam, first king of the rebellious northern kingdom, instituted a feast on the fifteenth day of the eighth month in imitation of the Feast of Sukkot in Judah, and pilgrims went to Bethel instead of Jerusalem to make thanksgiving offerings. Jeroboam feared that continued pilgrimages from the northern kingdom to Jerusalem could lead to pressure for reunion with Judah. If these people go up to offer sacrifices in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, then the heart of this people will turn back to their Lord, Rehoboam king of Judah, and they will kill me and go back to Rehoboam king of Judah. In Christianity Sukkot is celebrated by a number of Christian denominations that observe holidays from the Old Testament. These groups base this on the fact that Jesus celebrated Sukkot see the Gospel of John chapter 7. The holiday is celebrated according to its Hebrew calendar dates. The first mention of observing the holiday by Christian groups dates to the 17th century, among the sect of the Subotniks in Russia. In the Orthodox Church, the holiday is said to correspond to the New Covenant Feast of the Transfiguration. Topic. Academic views Topic. De Moore has suggested that there are links between Sukkot and the Ugaritic New Year festival, in particular the Ugaritic custom of erecting two rows of huts built of branches on the temple roof as temporary dwelling houses for their gods. Some have pointed out that the original Thanksgiving holiday had many similarities with Sukkot in the Bible. Topic. See also Topic. Harvest festival Jewish holiday List of harvest festivals Sukkah City, a 2010 public art and architecture competition planned for New York City's Union Square Park Ushpizin film, 2004 Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Chumney, Edward The Seven Festivals of the Messiah. Treasure House. ISBN 1-56043-767-7. Howard, Kevin The Feasts of the Lord God's Prophetic Calendar from Calvary to the Kingdom. 
Nelson Books. ISBN 0-7852-7518-5. Topic. External links Topic. Topic. Jewish Topic. Topic. General Topic. The Sukkah Project The Sukkah Center Jewish Virtual Library, Jewish Holidays, Sukkot My Jewish Learning, Sukkot 101 Topic. By Branch of Judaism Topic. Chabad. Org, Sukkot and Simchat Torah Hasidic Judaism Orthodox Union, Jewish Holidays, Sukkot Orthodox Judaism The Rabbinical Assembly, Sukkot Conservative Judaism Reform Judaism, Sukkot Reform Judaism Reconstructing Judaism, Sukkot Reconstructionist Judaism The Karaiti Jews of America, Sukkot Karaiti Judaism topic Christian topic Sukkot, The Season of Our Joy, The Feast of Tabernacles